What would you do if you found yourself stranded in space, approximately 200,000 miles from Earth? It's truly unimaginable, isn't it? Yet, this was the exact situation faced during the Apollo 13 mission. Apollo 13, originally intended to be the third moon landing in history, instead transformed into a gripping tale of survival. Hello, and welcome to yet another informative video for the Education Magazine. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Apollo 13 mission and the incredible story of survival that unfolded. The launch. Initially, three astronauts, James Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Ken Mattingly were assigned to the Apollo 13 mission. However, due to Mattingly's exposure to German measles, he was replaced by Jack Swigert at the last minute. On April 11, 1970, the Apollo mission was launched. The spacecraft's launch was successful, and the astronaut team had completed 56 hours of the mission. Houston, we have a problem. Before concluding the day, the astronauts needed to attend to some essential tasks. During this time, the astronauts collaborated with Houston Mission Control. They initiated the cryo stir to regulate the temperature of the oxygen and hydrogen tanks. Swigert complied and activated the switch, but suddenly a loud boom reverberated. The damage was extensive, with a substantial section of the service module entirely disintegrated and one tank leaking oxygen. At this point, Captain Lovell contacted Houston Mission Control and said, Hey Houston, we've had a problem here. The Houston Mission Control Room takes charge. The Houston Mission Control Room was in a total state of panic, but they kept their calm and decided to execute the rescue operation in four stages. Transferring the crew to the lunar module, which served as a self-sustaining lifeboat, ensuring their safety while the control room devised a return plan to Earth. Deactivating the damaged command module to conserve resources, necessitating the crew's extended stay in the lunar module. The HMC crafted a new Earth return plan as the original became unfeasible, requiring course corrections using the lunar module's engine assisting the crew in addressing lunar module challenges, including improvising solutions like a makeshift carbon dioxide filter to ensure their survival. Difficulties faced by the crew. Despite the Houston mission control helping the crew, they suffered a lot. Their situation was so difficult that somehow being alive would become their greatest achievement. Their difficulties were as follows. The crew had to sparingly use oxygen and power. The fuel cells that produced water were also damaged, which led them to have very little water. With the heaters turned off, the temperature inside the spacecraft dropped to near freezing. The crew had to survive on makeshift filters and air scrubbers to maintain the amount of carbon dioxide. Lastly, the Apollo 13 astronauts had to live in the tiny and cramped lunar module for four days the successful splash. After the spaceship successfully completed its orbit around the moon and initiated its return to Earth, the second phase of the mission commenced. During this phase, adjustments were made to the spacecraft's trajectory to ensure it would splash down in the Pacific Ocean, where the recovery fleet awaited. To survive the long, cold journey back to Earth, the Apollo 13 crew utilized their lunar lander, known as Aquarius, as an improvised lifeboat. This small vessel provided protection and carried the crew for a sufficient duration, allowing them to reach Earth's atmosphere. It wasn't until just hours before splashdown that the crew re-entered their spaceship to power it up and initiate their re-entry into Earth. The Apollo 13 mission was a harrowing experience, but the crew's courage, ingenuity, and teamwork ultimately saved the day. Despite the loss of oxygen, power, and water, they safely returned to Earth, serving as a powerful reminder that even in the face of adversity, hope persists. We hope that you found this video informative. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more such content.